Hello everybody and welcome back to another Logic Forge tutorial video. So today we're going to be working a lot with creating movement and the physics system. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is add a actual plane into our scene. So let's go to the 3D objects and for now we can just add a cube. And we need to move this cube down a little bit so that it's underneath the capsule and then Let's just make the scale sort of 100 by uh, 100, and then we can make this 0.1 or something small, just so it's easy to uh, work with. And you can see here that this is sort of like a plane that's underneath the capsule, which is going to be perfect if we're working with a physics system, because we don't want our capsule to just fall down and be affected by gravity. Okay, so now let's move back to the input capsule and go back to our logic editor. So now we're going to be working with Unity's built-in physics system. So I'm going to go to add and then more. Once you do that, you can go ahead and search for rigid body. So the rigid body is how we can have our capsule right here interact with the Unity's physics system. Okay, what we can do next is drag this rigid body over here and then connect it to the vector 3 that we made before and select the velocity. So this vector 3 is now going to affect the velocity of the rigid body as long as we make sure that this is enabled right here. All right, we can go ahead and try it out. So we can click on the game and then click play. Everything goes dark, so I'm going to right click. And then now I'm pressing on the keyboard and that you can see we are now moving in whatever direction that I hold the keys down in. If I select the right key, we move towards the right, left key towards the left, up arrow goes that way, and then down arrow. And you can see that it is even affected by the ground plane. So you can see the capsule itself is falling down and rolling around as such, which is just because we are using the rigid body, which is Unity's built-in physics system, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. All right, in order to stop bouncing all around, we can go ahead and select in the rigid body component right here, freeze rotation on X and Z. So now if I press play, you can see that the capsule is standing up as it should be. Okay, now let's go back into the logic editor and add some new components that we can deal with. So you can see right here that the Y value is uh, just always set to zero and we're going to need that to change if we want to be able to jump and do cool things like that. So I changed the Y value for multiplier to one instead of zero as it was before. And then let's go ahead and add a rigid body component again. After you do that, we can drag this out and then select velocity right here. And we want to get the velocity. Once you have that, I'm going to drag this over and then let's connect it up to the Y value. And so we can click on here and make sure that the velocity right here is actually the Y value. Because whenever we have a Y value set, we want to keep that Y value whenever we're moving anywhere. This is kind of like the master move system. So if we want to incorporate a jump, we're going to need to make sure that the Y value is still staying uh, the correct value. All right, I'm just going to enable both of these. So now let's go ahead and add some jump capability. So if you remember from way back, we actually already added jump down and jump hold input functionality. And you can see over here that we have the print when space is uh, pressed down and just pressed down, not held down. And so we can go over to it and then click add and then be success, which I already added right here for us. And then we can just drag that over or uh, click add and then uh, function and then search add force. So again, this is interacting with uh, the physics system of Unity. And once we click add, we now have a rigid body here or another rigid body function. And we want to change the mode to impulse and the Y value to five. Then we can drag this over and select the uh, B clock. All right, perfect. And then we can go ahead and make sure that this is enabled. 
And let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to save and then press play. Okay, I can now move around and then whenever I press space, you can see that we jumped. We used a very little logic here to get all of this working thanks in part to the physics system and thanks in part to all the uh, functions and nodes that we have available to us in Logic Forge. Thank you for watching.